Hi, you're watching Times Drive English. It's me, Pavni Jain, and I'm here to bring everything that has happened in the past week in terms of automotive news. I'll begin with the five-star ratings scored by Tata Punch EV and also Tata Nexon EV. Both the cars received five stars in Bharat and Cap safety rating. The safety organization tested Punch EV in the month of April 2024, whereas the company tested Nexon EV in the month of May 2024. For Punch EV, it scored 31.46 points out of 32 for adult occupant protection. And 45 points out of a maximum of 49 for child occupant protection. Punch EV offers six airbags, anti-lock braking system, electronic stability control, three-point seat belts for all, and Isofix mounts as standard across all variants. For Nexon EV, it scored 29.86 points out of 32 for adult occupant protection, and 44.95 points out of a maximum of 49 for child occupant protection. Next news is from the house of Skoda. The company has launched Kushak Onyx automatic transmission option at a price of rupees 13.49 lakhs. Just to tell you guys, the manual transmission option of the same car is available at rupees 12.89 lakhs, which is just 60,000 cheaper than its automatic transmission. Coming to the power trains of the automatic transmission variant, it comes with 1 liter turbo petrol engine and also produces 113. bhp of power along with 178 newton meters of torque the possible rivals of this car are maruti grand vitara toyota high rider hyundai creta honda elevate and kia seltos number 3 hyundai has teased its upcoming car which is going to be instant this car will officially be revealed at the busan motor show in south korea which will happen later this month now this car is going to be an entry level compact suv ev and it will be based on the korea specific exclusive Casper car model which gives you a range of around 315 km. The official images that have been released of the car give you hints of its design language. For instance, you can witness round headlamp cluster with circular DRLs. The car is expected to launch in Korea first followed by Europe, but its launch date in India is still unknown. The official launch date for the BMW new 5 series is out. It's going to launch on July 24th in India. And this new series is going to take on the likes of Mercedes-Benz E-Class L W B. Yes, the new 5 series is going to come in long wheelbase, and India is going to be the second market after China to have this long wheelbase version of the BMW 5 series. Number five, Toyota's chairman Akio Toyoda crashed the rally GR Yaris in December 2023 at Shimoyama Course along with the rally champ. Norihiko Katsuta as his co-pilot. Both were unharmed and the damaged car was displayed at the new Toyota Technical Center Shimoyama in April 2024 to show Toyota's tough testing. Toyota supports keeping internal combustion engines and the GR Yaris 1.6 liter turbo engine will be used in the upcoming Lexus LBX crossover. Now it's time to talk about the two wheelers. BMW Motor Rad has launched the new R1300 GS in India at a price of rupees 20.95 lakhs. Well, this price is 40,000 rupees expensive than the ongoing R1250 GS in India. This motorcycle is available in three variants in total. There is GS Trophy, there is Triple Black, and there is also 719 Tramontana. Yamaha Fasino S has been launched in India at a price of rupees 93,730 rupees. Well, this S edition is available in three colors in total: red, blue, and black. Other than one feature, which is answer back feature, nothing has changed in this scooter. Now, what is this answer back feature? Well, you can use this feature using the Yamaha's mobile app, which is going to help users locate their scooter by turning on the indicators of both left and right, and also by making a horn sound for next two seconds. Number three, Aether Rista scooter was launched in April in 2024 this year, and now the company is going to start its delivery in the month of July. Well, this scooter is available in three different variants: Rista S with 2.9 kilowatt hour battery, Rista Z with 2.9 kilowatt hour battery, and Rista Z with 3.7 kilowatt hour battery pack. The starting price of this scooter is 1.10 lakhs, and if you want to have a detailed comparison between Aether Rista along with TVS IQ, then that video is going to come up on our channel very soon. So stay tuned to Times Drive English for that video. And for more such newsy videos just like today's, all you need to do is subscribe to our channel 
And just in case if you like this video, find it informative, then also do not forget to give it a big fat thumbs up. Thanks for watching.